Can you believe it's been 16 years since I Am Legend hit the big screen, starring none other than Will Smith as Dr. Robert Neville? This post-apocalyptic action thriller was the third adaptation of Richard Matheson's novel, which is a classic in the world of apocalyptic fiction. The film was directed by Francis Lawrence, with a screenplay crafted by Mark Protasevich and Akiva Goldsman. It made quite a splash, pulling in a whopping $585.4 million worldwide, all while working with a $150 million budget. But here's the exciting part. There have been whispers and rumors about an I Am Legend Part 2. Can you imagine another adventure in that eerie, zombie-infested New York City with Will Smith leading the way? Let's dive into the potential release date, the story it might tell, the cast we could expect, and the plot that's been stirring up the sensation. Last year, fans got some thrilling news. Will Smith is all set to make a return to the I Am Legend universe. The excitement is through the roof! Back in 2007, I Am Legend was a massive hit. It hauled in $77.2 million domestically during its opening, and eventually grossed $256.4 million domestically and $585.4 million worldwide. It's safe to say it left quite an impact. Some folks might recall that the film had a bit of a polarizing conclusion, but guess what? There's an alternate ending that's closer to the original book. It's like a hidden gem for those who want a different take on the story. Now, let's take a step back and acknowledge the source material. I Am Legend was originally published in 1954 by the highly acclaimed author Richard Matheson. It's a masterpiece of apocalyptic fiction, and that's probably why it's been adapted for the big screen three times. The first adaptation came just a decade after the book's release in the movie The Last Man on Earth. Then in 1971, Charlton Heston took the helm for the second adaptation. But in 2007, Will Smith stepped into Dr. Robert Neville's shoes for the most well-received and financially successful Matheson adaptation to date. In the theatrical version, we see Will Smith's character working tirelessly in his lab, searching for a cure for the mutants that are vampire-like creatures. They're lurking outside trying to get to him, and the tension is palpable. In the end, Neville makes the ultimate sacrifice, taking out some of those creatures in a spectacular explosion, allowing his fellow survivors, Anna and Ethan, to escape with a sample of his new treatment. There's also the hope of an uncontaminated colony they're chasing. But here's where the alternate ending comes into play. It keeps Neville alive, which is more in line with the book's original motivations. He's unaware that he's become the villain in the eyes of the mutants. It's a different take on the story, and some fans appreciate it. It could have given the story a more satisfying conclusion, but here's the catch. It wouldn't have left room for a sequel, where humanity is saved. Warner Brothers was actually in the works for I Am Legend 2, and this exciting news broke on March 4, 2022. What's got fans of the original I Am Legend thrilled is that the screenwriter Akiva Goldsman is making a comeback for the script. We don't know yet if Francis Lawrence will be back to direct, as no contract has been signed on that front. Now, when it comes to release dates and production details, Warner Brothers is keeping their cards close to their chest. But one thing's for sure, this sequel will be a big-budget blockbuster, which means filming will take a while and those special effects will be a real labor of love. So if you're hoping for I Am Legend 2 to hit theaters before 2025, well, it's a bit of a long shot, even if they start shooting before the end of 2022. Will Smith is set to return as Dr. Robert Neville, and he'll be joined by none other than Michael B. Jordan, famous for his role as Creed. We don't know yet what character Jordan will play, and the rest of the cast is still a well-kept secret, but it would make sense for Alice Braga and Charlie Tahan, who played Anna and Ethan in the original I Am Legend, to make a comeback. Will Smith reportedly turned down a bunch of ideas for I Am Legend sequels until Michael B. Jordan pitched one. This guy's got serious star power after his roles in Black Panther and Creed. And the fact that the original screenwriter Akiva Goldsmith is on board for the sequel? That's some good news right there. One of the producers even said that Jordan's concept for the sequel is so mind-blowingly cool that they couldn't resist bringing this universe back to the big screen. So this isn't just your run-of-the-mill sequel, it's got something seriously cool up its sleeve, which suggests it'll do more than just retcon the original ending. Now, if you're wondering where I Am Legend 2 will pick up, both the original book and the alternate ending of the movie drop some hints, but it's a bit one-sided. The theatrical ending of the movie is pretty emotional. Neville, realizing the mutants are breaking into his lab after discovering the virus cure, 
interprets a butterfly shape on the wall as an omen. It reminds him of his late daughter's love for butterflies, and he sacrifices himself with a grenade as the mother, daughter, and Akira make their escape. It seems like the end of the story, but who knows what's in store for I Am Legend 2. In both the book and the movie adaptation of I Am Legend, we see a significant shift in Neville's perspective. At first, he believes that the mutants must be wiped out for humanity's survival, but as the story unfolds, he discovers that these mutants have their society. The book by Richard Navison, titled Legend, underscores Neville's cruel treatment of mutants, including experiments to eliminate them, making him an outcast. On the other hand, the movie suggests that Neville's cure might make him a hero among the mutants, but in reality, he becomes their enemy. Neville eventually accepts his fate, understanding that he will meet his end at their hands, and no longer seeks to destroy them but only himself. In I Am Legend 2, Will Smith reprises his role as Dr. Robert Neville, who survives the vampire pandemic thanks to his immunity and continues researching a cure while living in solitude in New York City with his trusty dog. However, things take a turn when a group of survivors, led by Dr. Elena Rodriguez, arrives in the city, searching for a rumored haven and a cure to reverse the mutation. Initially cautious, Dr. Neville eventually joins forces with the newcomers to combat evolved, intelligent vampire-like creatures. Together, they discover that his research holds the key to saving humanity. The movie explores themes of trust, sacrifice, and the human will to survive. As they face relentless attacks and the looming threat of the infected, Dr. Neville and Dr. Rodriguez must collaborate to unlock the virus's secrets and find a way to reverse the mutation. I Am Legend 2 is an action-packed sequel that delves deeper into the post-apocalyptic world, offering new hope for humanity's future. Meanwhile, for those who were unhappy with the original movie's portrayal of Neville as a self-sacrificing hero, an alternate ending was offered in Will Smith's film. In this alternative conclusion, Neville experiences moments of clarity without meeting his demise, but is left to live a life filled with cruelty and regret. In conclusion, there are three possible outcomes from the original movie that could shape the sequel. Neville's death and legacy as the legend who cured the mutant virus. Neville's death and legacy as the monster who tried to exterminate the mutants just because they were different. And Neville's survival with a lifelong burden of having tried to exterminate mutants due to their differences. The sequel will likely combine these conclusions to surprise us. However, there's another question surrounding I Am Legend 2. It's unclear how Will Smith will appear in the movie if it's set in a world where Robert Neville didn't survive the events of the first film. Since Smith is a co-star and executive producer, he's here to stay. This leaves the possibility of Dr. Neville appearing in flashbacks, and if that's the case, digital rejuvenation techniques will likely be used to restore his pre-apocalyptic appearance. This could shift the genre from survivalist to one where monsters and humans coexist, setting the stage for an intriguing sequel. Hopefully, I Am Legend 2 is ambitious for reimagining the ending after 15 years. It explores the conflict between two societies unable to cooperate. So, how excited are you for this sequel? What are your expectations from it? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on this thrilling sequel. Stay tuned for more exciting updates like this.